on Fox 47 News at 10. All right, David, I know how it works in wintertime. I know that we're used to the gray skies in Michigan. But I mean, come on. I mean, we're in the what the third week of March mm -hmm. now. Let's get some. Let's get some warmer weather in here. Is it on the way anytime yeah, soon? It will be for the weekend. We won't get closer to normal. At least normal standards, 45 degrees. That's yeah. where we should be at this time of the year. I think the highest we'll get over the next seven days about 41, 42. I can deal with that. Yeah, well, I can deal with that. Yeah, and we'll get some sun in here, so it'll get rid of the gray skies. <laughs> the first official start to springtime mm -hmm. comes Wednesday into Thursday. So keep that in mind, folks. Even though we're still seeing the cold temperatures, it's still technically winter right. out there, but I don't anticipate the end to the extremely cold weather until April. Oh, I know. Let's talk about the Doppler radar to start you out with and snow showers are here and there. It kind of depends on where you are at this hour. I do anticipate snow showers to make their way back in with an upper level low pressure system to our north. That's what will provide us with snow throughout the next couple of days, along with the lake effect snow making its way off of Lake Michigan. Visibilities, they're getting a little bit better across the area. Now, most places seeing about a 10 mile visibility. That's the highest you can go. The further north you go, where we've seen some of that drizzle or some of that snow shower activity, like up in Elma, 2.5 mile visibility. Howell coming in at 7 mile visibility, same out in Grand Rapids and the capital city nine mile visibility. So it's getting better and better, but expect those conditions to deteriorate once we get a little lake effect snow activity over the next few days. Local temperatures were holding steady just above the freezing mark, so not a lot of snow shower activity is falling. Whatever's out there is mainly just a little bit of that light drizzle. There is a lake effect snow advisory that's in effect for the western counties. Now, this does include Barry County, and that's through Wednesday morning because of the lake effect snow, not just because of the snow itself, but because of reduced visibilities and possible slick roadways. I do anticipate most of us to see the snow and that could lead to slick visibility. So even though you may not be in the advisory area, you'll still have to deal with deteriorating conditions if those lake effect snow bands become a little bit more intense over the next 48 hours. Across the region we go. Wow, a lot of snow shower activity up to the north where a foot or more has been seen up in the UP. They just can't catch a break this year, but it's good for anybody who wants to do a little traveling, do a little snowmobiling up to the north. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we'll just be cloudy, eventually seeing the warm temperatures. But it's that upper level low pressure system that will continue to provide us with snow and winter weather over the next 24 to 48 hours. Low pressure system down to the south will make its way out. It's the upper level low pressure system to the north that will provide us with possible lake effect snow activity by 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Cloud cover, few lake effect snow showers in our western counties that will be enhanced throughout the day. Keep in mind the winds are going to be a big problem tomorrow. Haven't seen any advisories just yet, but take a look. If you can see those isobars on your screen, they're very tightly packed with this upper level low pressure system. That is going to mean a lot of high winds. Expect 20 to 25 mile per hour winds gusting as high as 40 miles per hour. If you're out about on the roadways tomorrow, you'll feel that as your car is kind of moving back and forth on the highways. Just take a little extra time and make sure that uh, you look out for other drivers there on the roadways. This upper level low pressure system will just sit up to our north. That elongated low pressure system and trough will still stick around Michigan. Means more lake effect snow into Thursday. Overnight temperature tonight, we're going to shoot for 21 degrees for a temperature underneath the cloud covered skies. Take a look at the daytime tomorrow. Clouds remain, maybe a peak of sun late in the day, but a snow shower is possible. 20 to 25 mile per hour west southwest winds oh. gusting as high as 40. That's not a good day to get out and enjoy at all. As we look toward the weekend, I know it's Monday, but I'm already taking a look toward the weekend. <laughs> Sunnier skies to come, 40 degree temperatures, gets people excited to get through the week, then you can enjoy the weekend, and then you gotta think, oh boy, gotta get back to the workplace. Yeah. And uh, I guess we'll see where this goes. I like the hand gestures you were creating there. I mean, you would look like you were creating a picture of the sun in your sky. Yeah, if only I could create the warmer temperatures, I think we'd be okay. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, David.